Hey, have you ever found yourself stuck, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, kind of in a limbo? Well, if you have, you're luck. Today, I'm going to share with you four steps, four steps on what you can do to change and get things moving. Hey, if this is the first time here, I am Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher. When I was going through the transition of leaving teaching, I thought what I wanted to do, so I thought, yeah, what I'm good at is teaching, mentoring, and coaching. So I'm a coach. And guess what I had to do? I went and learned. Right? Because I've never coached before. Even though that's what I've done teaching, this was a little different because now I coach business people, I coach leaders, I coach people that are in transformations. So I had to learn some things. So I went out and learned. So today what I want to talk to you is how you can go from being stuck and getting on the next mission of your life. There's four steps to it. Okay, so four steps to change your mission, to move your mission. One, I want to talk to you. If you're here, my belief is you're an entrepreneur. And if you're not, you're thinking about being an entrepreneur and more power to you because that's where we should be. But as an entrepreneur, I want to talk to you about things. Is you are a money-making machine. Even if you're not making money now. That's what entrepreneurs do. We make money. We solve problems. We help people. But we're good at making money. Now, if things are stalled, right? Because you're stalled. We've been there. If you follow me before, my wife hiked the Appalachian Trail. That was her goal. And I was left teaching, setting up a new business. So I took time out of that growth to follow her, to help her. She went from February 14th to about June 14th. Hiked more than halfway, 1,156 miles. Unbelievable. And I drove anywhere from two and a half to eight hours helping her. Well, two things happened. It completely took me out of building my business because it just wasn't one day up to drive and back. It was two, three days. And, you know, you lose that momentum. And one, financially, it was a strain. It really was. I mean, it's if you're not bringing in money, guess what? <laughs> money going out, it goes out pretty fast. So here are the four things I had to do, but I want you to talk, to, think about them too. Is one, I had to take responsibility where I was at. I did not have a business. Talked about it, but I really didn't because following my wife, we just put things aside. So when we came back, I had to step up my game. Now I also, we live in a lake. You know, we live in, a, in an RV, it's really a park trailer. We're 16 people in this little RV. The lake is 20 feet from me. Get up every morning, have coffee, watch sunrise, go for a kayak ride for about an hour and come back and I usually try to do some work but there's many days I just kind of don't do anything so I had to take responsibility where I'm at so I am the, the things of changing I'm going to go live every day on Facebook on my either I have a group that I'll put the link below or on my uh, profile page where you can follow me as we go so my responsibility is one is to grab me by the seat of my pants and get going again because I can help a lot of people. So can you. So take responsibility while you're at. The second step, set big, audacious, unstinking, believable goals. Right? Not one where you're going to put together a course and sell for $7. What if you do, if you're a coach, what if you sell a coaching program for $19.97? If you're a course creator, what if you do a course for $9.97? How about making $100,000 a year? How about making $500,000 a year? How about completely getting out of debt? Just unbelievable goals. Now, the key is set that goal and watch it and then work at it until you get it done. See, what you're doing is when you set a goal and you talk it out loud, you're talking to your subconscious mind. When we say things out loud, that's us talking to people, but your subconscious mind, if you start thinking about these things, especially right before you go to bed, 
especially right before you go to bed. Think big goals. See yourself achieving them. See yourself raising your hand. Get your subconscious mind working for you. The third step is change your environment. And I'm going to talk about me. See, change my environment. I live in a lake. <laughs> I don't want to change my environment. But what I had to do was change my work schedule. So in the mornings, that's when I work. I mean, I'm still going to get up, have coffee, watch the sunrise, going to take a kayak because that's my exercise. My wife goes out for a swim. I'm going to come in and shower and get ready. She's going to come in and shower and get ready. She gets out. That's my work hours. And I'm going to work one to three hours every day. That's my environment. That's what I'm changing. The fourth step is become a student. Now, I'll tell you, I'm a teacher. So I, I really believe teachers were the are not very good students. Right? Because we think we know everything. And that, that's always true. But sometimes the things we were taught in school were from politicians we didn't want to hear. Become a student. Meaning find somebody, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. I don't know what your big audacious goal is. Find somebody who's done it. Follow them. Become a student of them. If they're on LinkedIn, follow them on LinkedIn. If they're on Facebook, follow them on Facebook. If they're on Instagram, follow them on Instagram. If they're on YouTube, where we all should be, Follow them. Watch your videos. One a day. One a week. Become a student. So hey, remember, you're an entrepreneur. You're a money-making machine. First step, take responsibility. Where you're at doesn't matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent. Take responsibility. Set huge, big, audacious goals. <laughs> Three, change your environment. And we're in a funky world right now. So change your environment. Mental environment. And four, become a student, and you got it. Hey, I had a couple of links down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, there, the links just click them. They're going to be good. There's a mastermind presentation. Uh, I have a couple free lead magnets that are just unstaking believable. And if you're listening to this in the podcast, the links will be in. Uh, what do you call them? <laughs> in the description. In the foot. I don't know what they call them. I laugh. Anyway, you all take care. Peace out and let's start building your mission.